The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever believeth in him might not perish but have everlasting life. Now the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All. There's no amount of our good works that can ever make up for our sin. We have to go to him through the one who was sinless, who took our sin upon himself, who died in our place, took our punishment that we deserved, paid the debt that we owed, took the keys of hell and death away from Satan, rose victoriously, and is now seated at the right hand of God, who shed his blood for us. And what Christ has done is available to every one of you. But when we enter into a relationship with God, it's the greatest exchange in the whole world that takes place. We get to give him everything we have, and he in turn gives us everything that he has and everything that he is. Do you want to trade your sin for his righteousness? Do you want to trade your misery for his peace? Do you want to know that you have a future? Do you want to have a best friend that will never leave you nor forsake you? If you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that you believe that Jesus is who he says he is and that he did what he has said that he did, then he will forgive your sins. He will come to live in you. God loves you. And that's what you're looking for anyway. Unconditional love. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. If you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, you shall be saved.